there's one mild cigar that must be taken seriously. Special Panatellas, the big cigar from Benson Hedges. A tumble dryer, this one. 98 pounds, please, sir. Stand me. I'll write you a check. Uh, 50 pound limit for check, sir, but we do take Barclay card. Oh, I haven't got one, have I? I suppose uh, good old fashioned cash is all right still, is it? Yes, sir. Uh, I've got 12 quid. How much have you got then? Three pounds, 15 and a half p. Well, these tumble dryers are a bit extravagant, anyway. One day you'll <laughs> wish you had a Barclay card. Where are the mangles? Don't wait for it to arrive. Wherever you bank, apply at any branch of Barclays. Ship. I didn't mention the old bit when I booked my passage. Oh, come off it, Sprat, old chap. Still, pity she went down before we finished dinner. Missed the liqueurs. What? <laughs> I could have done with a drop myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid I might have some rather bad news for some of you. Davis only had time to bring the port. That's my after-dinner tipple, but what about the rest of you? Well, I should say so, sir. Cockburns, is it? Cockburns. <laughs> Cockburns. Very <laughs> <Yeah>, good. <laughs> oh, you mean Coburns. Yes, special reserve. Cockburns. After dinner, a bottle of port is really all you need. Coburn special reserve. A very fine bottle of port. Mr. Hughes wants to go to the bathroom. Right here, Mr. Hughes. If there was anything that Howard Hughes trusted less than people, it was floors. He thought they were all contaminated. His last 15 years as a total recluse were full of strange quirks like this. Today and all this week in the New Style Daily Express, you can read Howard Hughes, The Hidden Years. The true story of those 15 years revealed by two of his closest aides. You won't believe it until you read it. Even then, you still won't believe it. Ulrika Meinhof was an attractive, successful woman. She was married to a prosperous and respected man. She was the mother of two beautiful daughters. She became a bank robber, arsonist, and killer. She sent her twin daughters at the age of seven to be trained by Palestinian terrorists in Jordan. In fact, they never arrived. They were rescued in time by their father. Ulrike Meinhof was German, but there are plenty of middle-class women terrorists near her home. Rose Dugdale and the girls of the Angry Brigade, to name only a few. This Monday, the Daily Express begins a fascinating report which seeks to explain this frightening phenomenon. 
The series is written by Bruce Page, who helped disclose the thalidomide scandal. Nobody can afford to miss it. Get the new style Daily Express and read why ordinary women become terror freaks. It's one of our best worsteds. Oh, it's very nice. You like it, sir? Do you like it, Mavis? No, George. Well, not to worry, sir. How about this one, sir? Mavis? Oh, no. Mavis? No. Mavis? Oh, no. Mavis? No, George. There is one gentleman's outfitters that still treats its customers like gentlemen. Dunn and Company. I rather like this one, Mavis. Well, I don't really, George. Now, what about the first one we tried? I rather liked that, George. <laughs> Chimpanzees in the zoos do it. Some courageous kangaroos do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. EMI bring you 20 great love songs from Frank Sinatra. Fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. You make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung. It's gonna be so easy for us to fall in love. I've got you under my skin. When you arouse the need in me, my heart says yes indeed in me. Let's do it, let's fall in love. Frank Sinatra's 20 Golden Greats, 20 original recordings from Old Blue Eyes himself. EMI presents three little girls who made it big. and the Supremes. 20 golden greats, 20 beautiful tracks on record or tape.
Happiness is a cigar called Hamlet. The mild cigar from Benson and Hedges. When one is entertaining, to set the proper scene, you need a butler. Things on sticks. And half is crystal cream. Oh, the cream, the cream. To start with less. A social mess. They'd never come again. No, they'd, they'd never, never come again. again. To hosts who would their guests assure. An evening like a dream. Just repeat these three fine words. Half is crystal cream. Top of grand. True blue. Superb. We have received a number of letters, mainly we imagine from non-beer drinkers, who doubt that Heineken refreshes the path other beers cannot reach. So we have devised this simple test to prove the Heineken claim. All the men, as you can see, are totally exhausted after taking Caesar water skiing this morning. There is not a spark of refreshment in any of them. So we give those on the left the cold Heinekens, and those on the right a selection of other beers popular at the time. Then we strike up the band, and immediately the Heineken has the desired effect on the road, if not on the boat. Stop! Stop! We're going round in circles! Providing, we believe, conclusive evidence that Heineken truly refreshes the parts other beers cannot reach. We walk down to the shops, me mum and me. Just after the war, and it was real butter for tea. I got some licorice, the first I ever had. And mum bought some kippers to take home for dad. It tasted so good that tea after the war. Real butter, real bread. We all asked for more. Oh, well, this still has many times more wheat germ than ordinary bread. It's as good for you today as it's always been. I was no more than knee eye to a grasshopper when I ran off from home. I packed up my marbles, my catapults and my Orbis sandwiches and off I went. I just stopped for a bite to eat when up comes postman. Am I in London yet? I asked him. <laughs> yeah, lad, he says. And if thou's thinking of legging it down there, thou will need more Orbis butter than that to keep thee going. Come back with me and we'll get them out and make up a silk case full. Oh, this still has many times more wheat germ than ordinary bread. It's as good for you today as it's always been. Sure I chase chickens. I'm a fox, ain't I? But there are chickens and chickens. And the only ones I go for are Kentucky Fried, with a little herbs and spice. Nice. Chicken bean slaw, please. Mmm. Isn't that two pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken, barbecue beans, and fresh coleslaw? And isn't it my dinner time? Kentucky Fried Chicken is the only chicken worth chasing. You know, every time you tuck into Kentucky Fried Chicken, you're assured a fresh chicken cooked right here in the store. We take tender chicken and coat it in 11 different herbs and spices to the Colonel's secret recipe. Then it's deep fried, the original Kentucky way. That's what makes it everybody's favorite chicken. Now ain't that finger looking good? Here comes your present. There you are. Happy birthday. Big spender. Oh, just to be Belle. Good looking pig. I've seen better. Polaroid cameras let you see your picture before the candles go out. Cake looks great. Yeah, but don't cut it. What? It's rented. Rented? Well, rent yourself another pig. And give me my 
that picture. Polaroid means fun. With the button. Coffee, please. We will. Thank you. My goodness, it's very strong. You really are buying it under the tap. Well, that's no good. You'll just make it weak and wishy-washy. I think coffee should be mild, but not weak. It should have flavour, but not be too powerful or bitter. All one asks... I know what you're asking for. What? Fine blend instant coffee. I say, do you have fine blend here in this cafe? No. Shall I buy it under the tap? If you like mild coffee, but don't like weak coffee, try new fine blend. Drink your coffee while it's hot. Ugh. This isn't the coffee we usually have. What's wrong with it? It's the same colour. It's not in this cafe. It tastes... We are horrid. It was cheap. I'm not surprised. It came in a huge. How huge? It'll last a long time. Last a long time? How long? Well, Six I, weeks. I think it's very yeah. nice. Now look, stop. When you're serving coffee, better make sure it's Nescafe. You know, when I went into domestic service when I was 15, I'd only tasted chicken three times in my life. But now it's a luxury food at an economical price that we can all afford. Why don't you pick up a British chicken tomorrow? I can't smile, everybody, please, smile. Waste of time, if you haven't taken a light, really. That's all right. This Olympus is completely automatic. It works out the light, and you just click the shutter. Oh, it's okay for snaps, but just you try and margin them. You see, the trouble with these small cameras is the lens. No problem. There's a Seiko lens. They use it on the Olympus OM-1, one of the best cameras in the world. Well, I suppose they're all right for you boys, but you wouldn't get a professional using one. Do you know who that is? Who? David Bailey. David Bailey? Who's he? The Olympus Trip. So simple, anyone can use it.